what's going on guys out here on the lake it is uh getting kind of mild out we're in uh mid-october so i think it's gonna be like 50 something tonight that's cold to me i don't like cold all right i'm gonna give these guys one last chance Keep hearing great things about this brewery. The beers I've had from them didn't blow me away. I was told I haven't found the right ones yet from them. I'm talking about Tripping Animals from Miami, Florida. This is Speedy Ferguson, double IPA. What caught my attention was it's brewed with whole melon. I'm not, I don't think I've had anything brewed with whole melon. So H-U-L-L, -L, whole. Wow, as soon as I cracked it, just fruit. Wow, okay. All right, well we know it's gonna be a fruit bomb because it's already hitting me. Oh, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. Color is not blowing me away, but the smell is. Oh, wow. So that melon, it smells like hoppy melon, like you dipped like you dipped <sighs> yeah like if you dipped hops nuggets in some melon you can picture that so this is really like it's kind of danky too hoppy danky fruity really fruity cheers Velvety mouthfeel. Probably light to medium velvety mouthfeel. Melon is prominent. Very prominent. This is good. This is good. It's not blowing me away. I have to say, I'm going to have to say, um, uh, it's gonna be a no for these guys, unless somebody unless somebody sends me some. Um, it's gonna be a no. They're just too expensive. This is good, but it's not worth the price at all. It's not even close. I can come up with ten double IPAs that cost way less than this that are better. This is this is good. Like I said, this is good, but. I guess you gotta pay for the can art. These guys are like pontoon. Nice can art. Really nice, but this. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're gonna have to say, uh, would I buy this again? Absolutely not. Did I enjoy it? Am I enjoying it? This is good. This is. I feel like I'd prefer this on tap. You know? I'd, I'd prefer this on tap. That's, that's, that's really what I'm getting. The can on date is recent, but it's a fresh beer, but it's just, I don't know, it's not, it's not blowing me away. Not by any means. It is good, but you know, you guys have been following me for a while. If I had probably a couple thousand, I only did, I've done a couple hundred videos, but I've drank a couple thousand different beers. So, this, yeah, again, it's good. It's good. I recommend it for anybody who, you know, you just want a scratch off. You just, you just you know, you bought a scratch off and you want 50 bucks. All right, go get you some tripping animals. Go cash out because they, they're, they're not cheap. I mean, like, like, for example, Ghost in the Machine is $14. It's $13.99. And I walked past that. I looked at that when I grabbed these. I was like, oh, it's $13.99? And Ghost in the Machine is amazing. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's amazing. It Ghost in the Machine crushes this. I just don't understand why this would cost so much. I don't know. But um, thank you guys for watching. Out here on the lake. Quick. Quick little view. Quick little view. All right, guys, cheers.